especially with like the frilly skirt around it. Like I'm just really <laughs> well. Yeah. Like, that's I not said, the only why costume would you option. Even suggest that my favorite performance I need artist. To subject myself to something like that. One I mean, of one of my I, favorite performance artists was was in kind of a costume that looked like a black Gumby costume, like a dark black. Full blown Gumby costume. Well, this is Ethan. So Vin- if you uh, think Lee Tommy Tay, yeah, you know, yeah, he um, awesome. this is so Fish presents think about the something like show. that. You could be like a, a, oh, a monk. Go. Isaac wants okay. to start Gumby. the episode. Gumby. Speaking of which, Lex and I had a question about Gumby. Oh, really? Okay, so she was showing. Oh, this right. Is Ethan Fish presents. They were shut the Dono Show. Yeah, you're right. Dono Show. Don't know what Woo. you're talking about. Anyway. So, Lex. I wanted to call Lex wanted to call them her puppets. I wanted to call them puppets, but apparently they're they're obviously not puppets. What are the things like a Gumby figure for a claymation? What's like a claymation puppet? You What's could the call word them for puppets, but it may be a model too. Model. model. Okay. okay. I, we. That's why we asked you, cause we knew I mean, that you would know stop motion figures or some figures the other, you know. that works too. Mm-hmm. That's that's why you see. That's why it's good to know. Uh, characters, so sexy that's for characters. My skirt. Characters work. So sexy to, for my skirt. I think theirs sounds so better. I think it's good that we know. Oh, oh really? Uh, <laughs> theirs sounds sexy better. For my thumb. What you're saying? Too you're all the film geek you need. That you don't need all the film geeks in your life. I am brash. I am intimidating. I'm too sexy for my thumb. With my so brilliant, with my brilliant. My You're I get yes, I am. That's what you keep telling me. I'm, I'm very intimidating. I'm, I'm an, I don't yes, actually. Yes, you're, you're stammering. I'm not sure if I'm actually seeing you nervous. I'm so sexy so for my thumb. What does it feel like when you're in I'll be merciful with you. I'll be merciful So sexy, I get turned on. Yes, that's nice. Mercy. That's right. I'm too sexy for my thumb. Too sexy for my thumb so fast it gets me on. Don't look at me. What are you doing? I wasn't looking at you. Have ah! a, you have a thong bikini on? Excuse me? No. When I'm I, a respectable woman. When I wear a thong and ride on my butt, kind of turns me on. You're a respectable. <laughs> you, you know, you seem you seem like uh, you, you'd do well in the infantry and, I, and, and probably make one hell of a commando. I can't, I can't even see Hey, guys. You see that cartoon one? I made that. Oh, well, uh, let's look at the cartoon drawing. Oh, it's over. Oh. Too slow. Well, you know uh, what? What the hell is that? I saw Fire and Ice. You saw Fire and Ice? I saw that too. Yep. I like that cartoon. They have a very gorgeous girl on it. Yep. And the faggot ice man slaps her away and says, Give me women, give me whores. <laughs> you, you're aware of Get the her X-Men, away from me. The X-Men are kind of breaking up now. I'm Wolverine. It's it's well, basically yeah, the basically blue and gold Cyclops team break. again, though. Whatever. It's, it's sort of. It, well... Except the, this has more of a this has more reason behind it than the blue and gold team. The blue and gold team hurts every time. Like they kind of figured There's out that they had too many us. characters. We need to they, split it up. Yeah. yeah, but with this, I actually have that. like a a legitimate disagreement about how yeah. the X Men should be run. It hurts you guys, every time. I need to sustain my existence. My mom's buying me some food, so I have to go. <laughs> so no, I need some food to makes exist. Perfect sense. To so us. sorry. Yeah, I'm, okay. I made a cameo. Yeah. Okay. Like you're gonna appreciate oh, it. I'll, I'll appreciate okay. it. Shh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Take a load off. <laughs> later, Lexi. Later on, Lexi. Don't forget your Planet Zero. I won't. Hey, this hey. one's not mine. It's, oh, it's okay. Mine. That's what I meant. Okay. Oh, Lexi. Um, so thank you so Lexi. much. Good to see you. Let's. I am also be the next broke, poly girl? Let's think about busking. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Would you like to say uh, that's where you go and perform on the street corners for the tourists? We could do it at the wharf. I want to do that it. That could be cool. I was just saying that I should do it with I Man earlier, and I think that you and uh, you should join in. We should get knack together that on could be the fun. wharf. Like yeah. I think, I, yeah. Like mm-hmm. you're like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. My yeah. charisma, we're, my we're, charm. We're my a bunch demeanor. of low class artists, my basically. Is what presence. I'm thinking. Bye bye. Thank ba, you guys. Ba, ba, See you later. Ba, Whenever you run out of material, ba, just go into what is this thing called love? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Michael, look my- at me. Look at me in the eye. Behave yourself. Oh, by I'll the way, try. by the way, earlier oh, today when me and Josh so walked, Michael, all right, we're gonna call it. Wait, wait, I want to explain something. We're gonna have 
statements that they're going to be completely nonsensical, like it's going to be like the protest, mm -hmm. and we're just going to have our Occupy the Wharf sign. Sorry, go Down on. with up. Um, pretty much, um, as we occupy this space, I'm realizing that that there's only one argument we could argue about right now on the Dino Show. What is that? <laughs> What's the one argument? No, we want to talk about something we all agree on. No, what's the one argument? <laughs> Let's no, what's Michael, the one would argument? you okay. move over there for me? I mean, Josh can... Uh, can, they can no, okay, I, I have something to say. Okay, so me and Josh were walking down the streets of Safeway. I think it was Safeway. Uh, okay. And, um, Which we do not endorse. And, and, and <laughs> we do not endorse. <laughs> and, and some guy walks up behind us to go to the lane the other direction. And I'm saying... Gay boy, out loud, right next to him. And Josh is just sitting there. And I want to look at Josh and say, I wasn't gay. really sure what you and were saying. I was just all pointing at guy going, Gay boy. <laughs> and the dude you didn't, didn't say uh, it loud would, if, enough to piss whether him I heard off. It or not, I whether I heard it or really not, either. I don't know. But it was just the funniest thing. Is this what Eat the Fish yeah. has gone down to? Just gay, <laughs> yeah. calling people gay boy on the street? You know? Well, you, I think only crazy. one member of Eat the Fish said that, actually. You know, I think Isaac... Hey, this we, is We the Isaac, Isaac by the Isaac Forum. Isaac, right? the, Obama, the Obama administration is not part of my... I have no affiliation with the Obama. We Didn't all hit uh, rock bottom in our own ways, okay? Hey, I don't affiliate <laughs> with Barack Obama and those... And those, and those uh, you're not affiliated with Barack and, and Obama? I'm not I'm a non affiliated political party. You're <laughs> not affiliated with the political party? No. I believe I'm actually also not affiliated with the I don't political vote for party. Republican or Democrat. I vote for non affiliated. I vote for well honestly I don't vote for a lot of Republicans. I voted for McCain. I might vote for a Republican once, but I don't know if I I don't know. Uh, and Rob Pat Paul still sees I I vote for can you be a hundred percent Ron Paul? Isn't he a little scary here? I mean, there? Is, is, you know, I, yes, I, I he really is, but like he's, he's not a hundred percent two faced. I think he would actually do like some. He'd actually work towards all the crazy so things Pat. that he proposes <laughs> doing. So Pat, uh oh, are you against me saying that I shouldn't have vote that I should have voted for McCain? Uh, I think it's against your own best interest, although McCain isn't so far to the right, as in, like, McCain's not as bad as you voting for George W. Bush or uh, any of the other Republicans you claim to be all into. You know what? <laughs> but I, I just guys. have this to say <laughs> to the people at home. Maybe someday, if things work out really well for us, we'll tell you what to buy but we won't tell you how to vote. <laughs> this is a democracy. You go to your polling place. You vote your own damn way. If things work out well for us, we may endorse one soda over the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Michael, we don't tell people what to buy. We tell people about things that they might, they could buy. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> and actually, I suppose in we stating, might mention people who you in could stating, vote for. In yeah. stating, Speaking of which, you have a product as well, don't you? I you like have a product that I'd like to give people <laughs> that, full that is available to to, to buy. Full if permission. A person wanted to buy. To buy. Yeah. I actually, d um, you can buy it by going to the domain that Josh has been kind enough to put up on the screen right now uh, that I can't remember at the <laughs> If the domain should happen, I, you it's can a use fetus. your internet skills and find... It's a living fetus. Planet Zero on Facebook, probably, or... You can find me on Facebook. Indie Planet. Indie Planet no, as well. Yeah, that's it it is absolutely on Facebook as well, too. But uh, but our cover price is three fifty, and you can buy it for, like, I think two bucks or one ninety nine on Indie Planet. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have paid full price. I about was a this, fool. I know. I know. About this Obama I, campaign and the Bush campaign and the DeWalk, the Dole, and the 
<laughs> and the Sarah Paul is just too cute to be a president. She, uh, I do have the hots for Sarah Paulin. And I do think Barack Obama, Barack Obama is something that I wouldn't say because it's a federal offense to. Barack Obama. See, even though I am Sarah not Pollen. any affiliate. I like that it's Sarah Paulin. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that. Well, you know, and, and it's making me think of the Stephen Flower Show. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and then, and no, not related, Paul. not of course related to Michael Good Palin, the, uh, the foodie from Berkeley. In my, in my political decision to say. Michael Palin, the member of. Uh, of uh, Python. Python? My. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they came up with that already, didn't they? They did. Yes. Well, my non-federal offense remark would be, I am not racist, but that person should not be for president. Uh, that person should I, be I'm for I'm not president. a racist, but... It's <laughs> proper grammar. You know, I'm well, not a well, racist, it's not a federal but offense. usually when I hear not a somebody offense. say, I'm not a racist, but it's, it's like one of those things. Like, I'm all for the environment... But I just think we need to, to to pave the state of Montana so that we can have more parking for working families. <laughs> for working families. <laughs> you know, it's Is that's it? usually what I think when I think I'm not racist, but <laughs> the biggest fellow friends, George Bush Sr. calling Jesus a Jew. No, no. What was it? The world's biggest fence fence. George Bush, after Jesus went to George Bush and Jesus said, I'm Jewish, George Bush gave the good old federal nod and said, he's white pride. And they challenged him and challenged him and wrestled him to this day. They think he's a Nazi because George Bush said so. George Bush called Jesus a, called so to a Nazi? George Bush and Jesus wrestled for yeah, a, didn't a follow long that time? One. He, he, I said I was Jewish and he goes, and then they all attacked me up to World War III. And then I finally found out what that meant. And he said, I called you white pride. They're after you. Man. How can, and, and, and then he comes with this, 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 this statistic, <laughs> a statistic that just because Isaac's Jewish and he's Jesus, all people that are Jewish are really Nazis and the Nazis aren't Jewish. They're the Jewish people. So all Jesus people are Nazis. And the white people get are, are are Jewish. How can you say that? That is so politically false. <laughs> I mean, and the federal agents still listen to them. It's like it's a federal offense to take anything out of the Constitution or add into it. So wait, Isaac, could you Under God we a trust? Woody Allen no, movie? No, that's a federal offense. I mean, you can't I'm just wondering if you could pull but one of those strings and get me into a Woody Allen movie. I would really appreciate <laughs> well, 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 that. Once I get done explaining this, really Under God we trust out of the Declaration of Independence out of the United States Constitution? It's a federal offense. But, 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 no, it's a, no. It's not in the Constitution, it's on the money. It's it's in the Constitution too. It's not in the Constitution, Under God it's we just trust. in the yeah, money. No, 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 the, the, the Declaration of Independence. The and pledge to the flag has under God, no, there's and the, the money has there, in God we trust. There is a there fucking is Declaration of Independence and a fucking United States Constitution and the I've fucking seen, constitution says don't guys. take it out of the fucking constitution it is a federal offense Wait, i i remember the so when the they separation a, of church and oh, state hey guys, in guys. the constitution what, why do you think i won't listen to the churches the churches think i've left them long ago uh -huh. anyways but um or maybe not hmm. who knows it depends on oh. how isaac thinks of it if he thinks this is gonna be this if he thinks that's gonna be that it's all in your mind this? Until someone comes up without you even doing anything and stabs you. Anyways. <laughs> so if you appreciated which, things which that I said. Which <laughs> happened, by the way. I did get stabbed by someone just walking up to me and stabbing me. So there you go. Well, you're the I mean, kind of fellow who gets stigmatized sometimes. <laughs> I happened to walk Whoa. down the wrong alley and get my nose busted up three times. I could have swore it was a gun because those things hurt. Man. Thank God it's good to be immortal. Yeah, seriously. I mean, you have or at such, least to be a Mormon. You have such leeway of time from now. First you're here, now you're not. And, and then you're back without even I don't so know. much as of even noticing if you left or not. But how many generations right have you been immortal for? Like, won't it suck? When generations? Like, won't it? How long? How old is the universe? I mean, I don't know. How, how many old generations is the first? have you seen how old is born how, and die? How, you know? old I mean, universe before, how old is the universe before that universe? Before infinite universes. I have been existing since the first. I'm the first creation of existence. 
Well, this but it's it, not evil to interview a shark like that. It's like, hi, isn't I'm it Isaac. A bummer to Would watch like all of that get built up no, and, and no. torn again and torn down again and rise and fall. And they don't get torn down and, and rise and, and fall. And well, basically, in in, in a in a vision, in, in through my vision, I see the I see, I just sit there and see the universe, and it flows from non-existent to existence, just like a wave from non-existent to existence. So either way, we're going flowing through existence and non-existence, like a lava lamp. It's all full no, of stars. No, like a universe. <laughs> Lava lamps are a cheap demonstration of what a universe can do. <laughs> what's crazy about universes is that since there's so much empty space in them, when they collide, there's very, very, very few impacts. They just kind of like wretch each other's they paths make, around. They make their living beings fucking each other. They kind of made Kind of making little. stars around, so when they shit, it kind of makes a fucking bad mess on what if it was a meth monster? Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. A meth it? monster? A meth monster. What if they shot out? They fired You're still worried what if, what about if? that cloud of pure crystal meth that's floating around somewhere <laughs> in the Yeah. You're so, still worried about that. Somehow something must have farted and created this gaseous <laughs> crystal meth Just get cloud. over it eventually. That, dude, like seriously? It's an amoeba. I almost think that Super Triumphant Man's kryptonite could be like when this crystal meth, like, doesn't like when these like like pieces of crystal meth start hitting the earth and like some of them most of them burn up in the earth's atmosphere and just like it makes you just, hang out with weird people yeah <laughs> i mean i i don't i don't but. know what the other kryptonite is but i i was more we always kind of had it more down for acid Oh, oh, I know no, a scene. Not acid. See, yep. so that's a kryptonite. <laughs> exactly. I wrote that's a, super trepidant kryptonite. I wrote a scene about but that. But you don't know it, guys. You guys. I should tell you about it in private yeah. because the people at home are watching and we don't want to ruin you it. You don't know it, guys. I mean, they will steal it. We they can let well, them in on the process, Michael. Just, this is our be spoiled for them. This okay. is our bonus material, dude. This is this is the. Uh, you don't get this it. This is what we put on the uh, DVD. You guys yeah. just don't get it, do you? Yeah. Well, let's just spoil the premise for them. I'm immune to acid. Let's just spoil the premise for them. But our, the character Super Triumphant Man, I believe his kryptonite is LSD. I no, don't. his kryptonite is somebody else's dick. Uh, his kryptonite is penises. Okay. Penises see, he cannot. Is his one see, no matter what, his he, only vulnerability is penises. <laughs> well, he cannot. We'll see so, how that works. See, technically, technically, <laughs> so Isaac, nobody with a vagina can defeat him. He, ha he can form himself into a female with a vagina. <laughs> but all, but only awesome. certain females. He cannot choose females that are not of his. Uh, but as I might say, what were we talking about? Kryptonite. <laughs> Oh, kryptonite. It would be the piece because technically there, God... There was a God premise, though. No, yes, there is a purpose. God protected me from seeing too, sin yeah. by not letting me see another man's penis. So whenever I see a penis, I'm looking at mine. And the, and girls found out about that. They say, that's Isaac's penis. What is get on him? Isaac's penis will be... If they're my girls. What see, they only go for Isaac's penis. And so if you, sh if you whip it out and all of a sudden my penis goes... And I see it, and I'm, you whip out my penis... Because I can't take from you. I've never seen another man. <laughs> it would be sin to even touch one. You've never seen. Well, well God. So, so you can't so, go through life like. Hold so, on a second. So, no, no, oh, no. Don't. Down. Don't. Pam, that's what we're calling your blowjob. All I want to be is part of that don't know show. But I don't know If I should go To that place called The Dono Show